Once upon a time, a cat and a mouse wanted to live together, and so they set up a common household. They also prepared for the winter and bought a little jar of fat. But since they didn't knew, didn't know of a better and safer place to put it, they stuck it under the altar in the church, where it was supposed to stay until they needed it. Now it was no long before the cat felt a craving for the fat and went to the mouse and said, Listen, little mouse, my cousin has asked me to be godfather of her child. She gave birth to a baby boy, white with brown spots. I'm to hold him at the christening. Would you mind, would you mind letting me go out today and taking care of the house by yourself? No, no, answered the mouse. Go there, and when you get something good to eat, think of me. I sure would like a little drop of the sweet red christening wine. <clears throat> But the cat went straight to the church and licked up the skin of the top of the fat. Then she, she strolled around the city. <laughs> strolled. Yes around the city and didn't return home until evening. You must have enjoyed yourself very much, the mouse said. What name did they give the child? Skin off, the cat answered. Skin off? That's a strange name. I've never heard of it before, said the mouse. Soon thereafter, the cat felt another craving and went to the mouse and said, I've been asked to be godfather once more. The child was a white ring around his body. He has a white ring around his body. I can't, I can't refuse. You must do me a favor and look after the house. The mouse consented and the cat went and ate up half the jar of fat. When he returned home, the mouse asked, What name was this godchild given? Half gone. Half gone? You don't say. I've never heard of such a name. I'm sure it's, it's not on the list of proper baptism names, said the mouse. Now the cat couldn't stop thinking about the jar of fat and said, I've been asked to be godfather again for third time. This child is all black and has white paws. Aside from, the, aside from that, there is not a, wi a white hair on his body. The, that only happens once every few years. You will let me go, won't you? Skin off, half gone, the mouse said. Those are really curious names. I'm beginning to wonder about them. Even so, go ahead, said the mouse. The mouse cleaned the house and put it in order. Meanwhile, the cat ate up the rest of the jar, the rest of the fat in the jar, and came home stout out stout and stuffed late at night. What's the name of the third child? asked the mouse. All gone. <laughs> all gone? Hey now, that's the most suspicious of all the names, <laughs> said the mouse. All gone. What's It's supposed to mean. I've never seen it in print. Upon seeing that, the mouse hooded her head and went to sleep. Nobody called upon the cat to become godfather for the fourth time. However, soon winter came and there was nothing more to be found outside. So the mouse said to the cat, Come, let's go to our supply that we stacked beneath the altar in the church. But when they arrived there, the jar was completely empty. Oh, said the mouse, now I know what happened. It's as clear as day. You ate it all up when you went to serve a, as a godfather. First the skin, then half, then... Shut up, yelled the cat. One more word and, word and I'll eat you up. 
All Gone was already on the top of the poor mouse's tongue. No sooner did she say it than the cat jumped out her and swallowed her in one gulp. <laughs> so finally, the cat ate the mouse. And uh, that tale is reminding me to all those cool videos we look, we watch on internet where cat and mouse live together happily and cat and dogs live together happily. And uh, this is what to remind, to remind us what will happen in the long run where we cannot see the movie. That is probably, I don't know exactly. <laughs> it's doubtful.